Twitter as you all know so firstly I want to apologize for not reaching out to you um, some of you asked me to do some videos and I didn't reply to that I'm really really sorry from the bottom of my heart I was really uh, caught up with something I was very busy and I'm really sorry but then today I want us to do centroids on um, building structural construction and five guys so obviously if you did entry you did entry you understand what I'm talking about and you know what to do from here so to those who don't know let's unpack this thing right so firstly what you're going to do when you see these shapes here you should know that you have a baseline you can give in a baseline from any point to the other point right so my baseline is this one which is a here and b here right um this baseline simply says when i am going to calculate the distance of every shape that i see here i'm going to start here going up meaning i'm going to start at this baseline going up right so now we have a triangle we have a rectangle we have a smaller one inside and we have a circle inside so these two shapes that are inside the other shapes we call them holes we call them holes because they are inside other shapes right so this one is a hole meaning if it's a hole the area is going to be negative and this one also a hole right when you calculate the area the area of these two they're supposed to be negative because they are holes inside other shapes right so firstly the first step that you're going to do just right here um step number one you're going to calculate the area right so you're going to calculate area of shape one shape two shape three shape four okay so let's start with shape one which is a rectangle right so you're going to say number one area number one which is this rectangle you know it's this times this which is going to be um sorry um 46 times 30 right which is going to be 46 times 30 and you're going to get 1380 millimeters squared that's area number one now area number two area number two we have um a triangle right and you know triangle is half times base which is 46 times the height which is 33 and then you have 759 millimeters squared now we're going to area number three which is a circle so in this one if you are given a diameter like my case here i'm given a diameter okay sorry i forgot to indicate the center line um let's put it let's just put it way here right i was saying in a circle when you calculate the area if you are given the radius use the radius if you're given the diameter use the diameter so in our case we are given a diameter of 24 right so the area of this one would be or would have to be pi d squared divided by 4 right why do we divide by 4 because um if we had a radius it would be somewhere from this center to this circle right or from here to here yeah in our case it would have been 12. if you want though 
they could use it you could use that 12 and be like pi r squared right and then you have um pi um 12 squared right so the reason why we divide by four this four represents the radius that are inside of this circle so we have number one which is this one number two which is this one three four you get my point right so we divide by four if you have the diameter but if you have the radius work with the radius don't complicate things right so my diameter is 24 divide by four and then i'll get negative right four five two comma three nine millimeters squared i'm having a negative because this shape here it's inside the triangle makes it a hole that's why it is negative now we're going to number four area number four which is this one right here so um we are going to have this times this easy right so it's going to be 30 times 14 equals to also a negative 420 millimeter squared right now we are going to calculate the total area so we're going to say total area um is equals to you add the total area and you are going to get 1,266,61 millimeters squared right you are done with your area i hope everyone understood that now we are going to calculate the neutral exits that's step number two so we are having step two which is neutral axis right so on this one we are calculating um the area times distance of these shapes over here right but on this one it's quite different than that one of n2 and n3 so on this one we have the total area um, multiplied by the neutral axis, right? And then it is equals to, you have area number one multiplied by its distance plus area number two multiplied by its distance. Now, when coming to area number three and 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 area number four we are going to minus them area number three times its distance minus area number four times its distance now if you want you could add you could put the addition sign here and then when you come to the area you put the negative sign because the area is negative right but i think it's easier this way it's easier done this way so let's substitute we have the total area of um 1266,61 1266,61 multiplied by the neutral axis equals to the area number one 1380 multiplied by the distance now the distance of shape number one we're going to start at the baseline going up right so it is going to be um 8 plus 14 plus 8 which is 30 divided by 2 which is 15 so the actual distance of shape number one it's 15 so you start from here going up you divide by 2 which is 30 divided by 2 it's going to be 15 so this is this multiply by 15 you close you add area number two area number two it's the triangle so when you calculate <coughs> oh the area is how much seven five nine times when you calculate the distance of 
shape number two we are starting here ne? going up so um we're going to say from here to here it's 30 right so we are going to say 30 plus um 1 over 3 multiply by the height of the triangle so when you calculate the distance of a triangle the formula of it is 1 over 3 multiply by the height right so the distance of a triangle is you can write it on the side 1 over 3 multiply by the height right so it's going to be 1 over 3 multiply by this height which is um is it 33 right so you're going to say 1 over 3 multiplied by 33 plus 30 because you're starting from the baseline the height of the triangle is 33 and the formula of the distance is 1 over 3 times height 1 over 3 times height of 33 plus the distance you left behind from the baseline which is 30. i hope that makes sense so your answer is going to be 41 and then you have minus the area of shape number three which is four five two comma three now so there's no need to put a negative sign here because you already put it on outside the bracket right now the distance of the circle you're going to start from the baseline going up starting from the baseline going up you're going to reach the center of the circle and that is your distance of the circle so the diameter of a circle is 24 half of 24 is 12 so you know that the distance of the circle is 12 right but now we need to add the distance that we have left behind which is another 12 plus 8 plus 14 plus 8 which is going to give us um 42 right so i'm going to repeat again the distance of a circle you consider the diameter of it which is 24 then the half of the diameter is how much is 12 now you're going to say 12 plus the distance that you have left behind from the baseline which is how much which is this 12 um no which is um 8 14 and 8 right right which is 30 so you're going to say 30 plus 12 which is going to give you 42 now you have 42 here i hope i made sense and then the last one is minus shape number four the area of shape number four which is 420 no need to put the negative sign because you put it um outside the bracket multiply by the distance of it i'm sure you got this one correct which is eight plus the half of 14 which is seven and then it gives you how much 15 right which is 15 close bracket now um you're just going to punch all of this in your calculator so you're going to have um 1266.61 times the neutral axis equals to um this multiplied by this it is 20,700 plus this times this is 31,119 minus this times this is 19,000 comma 38 minus uh, this times this is 6,300 right and now you're gonna have 1266,61 times the neutral axis 
equals to you punch this on your calculator you have um two six five one eight comma six two it's six comma six two yes and then you're going to divide both sides by 1266,61 because we are looking for this. This cancels this. And then your neutral axis is going to be 20,94. Millimeter squared. So let's end it here for today and then we will continue in the next video.